What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Marshall Papology. So back in October of 1983, a bumbling detective made his debut on Nickelodeon, Inspector Gadget. He was half man, half robot. As a kid, he was awesome, okay? He really was. He had all these cool gadgets come out of his head, but at the same time, too, he wasn't that bright, honestly. Come on, let's be real. He just wasn't bright, though. Now, the actual brains of the operation was his niece and her dog, Brain. Those were the two actually help solving cases. They just made sure that Inspector Gadget got the credit. Their main objective was to stop the organization mad, who would go around trying to take over the world. Normal 1980s black cartoons of any e evil organization. And that was ran by Dr. Claw. Now, an entire two-year two -year run of the show, you never saw Dr. Claw at all. All you saw was the glove, him, no, uh, a, glock, uh, a, a glove of a claw, and his arm. That's all you saw. And his cat, which pretty much, I think his name, the name of the cat was Cat. And the cat had an evil laugh, of course. So Dr. Claw will literally be the entire episode, the entire season, really, in his lair, watching everything happen on monitor. And when things go wrong, He'll be like, I'll get you, Inspector Gadget. I'll get you, kind of deal. It was, okay, yes, it was cheesy. But back in the 80s, we thought it was awesome. I did, at least. I thought it was awesome. Now, the voice actors are some amazing voice actors of Inspector Gadget. You had Don Adams, who plays Inspector Gadget. Now, kids, if you want to know who that is, Google Don Adams, Get Smart. He... And back in the 60s, he actually was um, uh, Maxwell Smart from the Get Smart TV show. So if you Google it, it could probably be a black and white series. But Get Smart was actually a pretty awesome um, TV series back in the day. Like, I thought it was pretty cool. Once again, that's another show about gadgets. So it was pretty cool. Frank Welker was the voice of Dr. Claude. And like before... Fred Walker is very well known. He was Megatron. He has so many. He's right now um, Scooby and uh, and Freddy from the Scooby Doo Adventures. Now, for Penny's voice actor, that was Miss Cree Summer, who is amazing. If you don't know who Cree Summer is, you probably seen her face before. She was Freddy on A Different World back in the day, as and well as for voice acting roles. This is her very first voice act, voice acting role. And she was a voice of Elmira from Titan Adventures. She's a voice of number five from Cold Name Kids Next Door, which I promise you is a very underrated cartoon. That cartoon does not give as many props as it should. Cold Name Kids Next Door is amazing. So that's another show uh, you guys should watch out there. Google Cold Name Kids Next Door. You'll be amazed how awesome that, sh that show is. I promise you. Now, with that being said, I issued this. Well, actually, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a closer look at these Inspector Gadget Funko Pops. So, in the words of Inspector Gadget, go, go, Gadget Funko Pops. Well, guys, what do you think? Which one's your favorite? Comment below and let me know which one of these that you like. I'm kind of upset with this situation here because there should be more in this collection. 
This should be Brain, the dog. This should be a paparazzi. Because if you watch the cartoon, expect the gadgets vehicle was able to turn into different things. I think it was like a van, a car, and I think other stuff too as well. But the most that you actually see on the cartoon was the actual like van and police car. So I wish they actually released the pop ride this. And I've been thinking about this cartoon a little bit more because since it's based back in the 80s, one thing I realized, especially if you watch any cartoon with cops or a movie with cops, especially in the 80s, the chief of police always had an anger problem. Always. I don't care what, what it was. Like, literally, you go back and watch any 80s cartoons where the chief of police were always angry and yelling upset. Go watch any 80s movies and the chief of police will, chief of police will be yelling, cursing, just angry for no reason. I promise you, they're always mad about the A's. I, I didn't realize that until I started thinking about more about this and watching old cop movies from the 80s. You go watch Beverly Hills Cop. I promise you, the chief of police is always angry. Any cop movie. And that's two examples, but one part two. And then not just that, Axel Foley had his police chief from Detroit and the one from Beverly Hills it was just angry. Angry. Just don't get it. It is what it is. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You see on the screen right now. Also, too, I'm gonna put the description below the links if you guys are interested in buying these. That will actually help out the YouTube, uh, our channel so much. Do appreciate it uh, and so on. And that's it for today's video. So we'll see you next time. I always get this wrong. I don't know how I always get this wrong, but it is what it is. And the words, my baby Zoe. We'll see you next time. Peace.